What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're gonna be going over a pretty quick and easy repair. Uh, we're gonna be working on an E46. Uh, this is actually not my car, this is a friend of mine's car. Um, we are gonna be replacing the cowl trim here that's along the windshield. Now most of these cars, this uh, trim itself, the weather stripping that's on the top of it that seals against the windshield is pretty beat up. As you can see on this car, it's missing almost all the way across. So we're gonna go over getting that replaced today. Pretty simple repair. Take the wiper blades off, the cowl trim itself pops out. Um, you wanna make sure that you're getting a trim piece, a new trim piece with the clips installed because a lot of times the clips break off the back of these. This I sourced from the supplier that I use for parts at my job. Uh, you can also get this trim piece from ECS Tuning. I will put a link in the description to that. I think there's also some available on Amazon. I don't know that I trust those a whole lot because they're a third party company. The one that's on ECS Tuning is actually an OE part. Um, but this is also an OE part, BMW part that I just got through my work. So I'm going to go over getting this replaced today. I'm going to show you guys how to take the warp blades off and then we're going to take that cowl trim out and pop our new one in place. So let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start by taking our wiper blades off. Um, as you can see, this one's already missing it, but there's usually a cap over top of those uh, nuts that hold down the wiper blades. Uh, you're gonna start by popping your cap off. I normally use a pocket screwdriver. You can use a pocket screwdriver or a pick or any screwdriver for that matter. We're gonna take our cap off. We're gonna set that off to the side. And then the nuts are two 15 millimeters. I'm gonna pop the nuts loose. I'm gonna take our nuts off. And then the wiper arms are actually relatively easy to take off once you do that. What you're gonna do is grab the arm here, pick it up off the windshield, and then you're gonna push and pull on the arm itself. And eventually, it'll work free from the wiper motor itself and you'll be able to pop it off. Now these, are actually keyed on by this little insert that's in this wiper arm and can only go on a certain way. Some of the newer cars, and I don't know if it's all of these cars, I've not taken these off enough to really remember. This will actually be splined, so these can go on in a different direction or off you know, every couple spline teeth to adjust. Just be aware if you have that set up that to make sure you mark where or pay attention to where your blade is touching the windshield because if you put this back on up too far when the wiper blades sweep they'll actually hit the trim on the side of the windshield so that's one wiper blade off i'll pop this other one off again they make pullers for this you can use that if you want but i've had a lot of good luck with just kind of working it until it pops loose like this and then picking up on it. So fight me a little bit. Just be careful also when you're doing this to not let this arm or any part of this come down and smack the windshield. Uh, Windshield's pretty easy to break with this just because of these things are spring loaded to hold the um, wiper arm against the windshield. So if you are picking up on this part of it and you for some reason let go of it, it can smack the windshield hard enough to break it. Just letting you guys know. So I'm gonna get these set off to the side and then we're gonna work on getting this trim piece out of here. All right, so now that we got our wiper blades out of the way, we are gonna work on getting that cowl trim out. I like to start on this passenger side just because conveniently they give you these nice two little spots right here where you can actually put your hands in and pull up on. So when you pull up on this, you're gonna have to put a little bit of force into it and it's gonna make some awful popping and cracking noises. That's okay because we're replacing the trim piece. If any part of it breaks, it's not a big deal. The stuff that it's mounted to is the body of the car. So you're not gonna mess up any part of the body of the car by replacing, by pulling on this and breaking things. Nothing on there is gonna get messed up. So you're gonna pull up on this and it's gonna pull the little tabs out of the body of the car and then you're just gonna come across and work on getting all of those tabs popped out. Like I said, it's gonna make some awful noises. It's okay. You're also gonna have to pull this trim piece out. These tabs here are 
half turns and they pop up like that, once they're all sprung up like that, you can actually pick up on this and pull it out from inside of there. Set that off to the side. And get our trim popped out. So in order to get it out from in there, you're gonna have to bend it a little bit, flex it in half in the middle. And this is our old trim piece. So I'm gonna get everything cleaned up in here just so this is the only chance you're gonna have to clean any of that stuff up, so I'm gonna get all that cleaned up. Um, sometimes when you're pulling these apart, your tabs here that hold those little um, circle white clips are gonna break off as well as the clips are gonna get stuck in the body. You're gonna have to pull those out in order to put your new trim piece in place. I'm gonna get that cleaned up and then I'm gonna show you guys how to pop those trim pieces, those little uh, trim tabs out without you know, wrecking the body of the car by prying them out. All right, so I got everything vacuumed up out of there. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do a perfect job of cleaning it. I just wanted to get all the loose debris out. So these tabs right here, this one is actually broken completely off of that trim piece. But these little uh, white clips are still here in a couple of spots along the body. You're going to use a trim tool, whether it be one that's small like this or one that's a little bit bigger, whatever you've got, preferably a metal one. You're going to come underneath these little clips and you are going to pop them out of the body of the car. Sometimes they can be a pain to get out, but I'm gonna pop them out like that. I'm getting this one out too. And we got one left here. And this is what I mean by trying to make sure that you get the, the trim piece that comes with the clips because these clips usually break like this when you're taking them apart. Either they get stuck in the car or they break when you're pulling them apart. Just you're talking about cars that are 17 years old. These clips have, have lived a good life and you're going to need new ones. So we got all that out of there. Now we're going to get our new trim piece popped in place. All right, so we got our new trim piece. We're going to pop it in place here. What you're gonna have to do is kind of put it in on one side and then flex it a little bit here in the middle to get it to bend in because the back there is actually wider than where you're trying to get it into. Once you get it in this area, you're gonna pop it down into place like this. And then we're gonna start on one side, popping these clips into place in the body. You wanna make sure that you get them down in there the right way. Get them kind of all lined up before you start trying to push things down. Because if they're not all lined up before you start trying to push things down, you're on the risk of breaking some of them. So they're all lined up all the way across. Start pressing them into place. And our trim piece is in place. The only thing I have left to do is to get this old front weather stripping off of this piece of trim here. It's actually just gonna pull off of the front here. You can replace this as well if you want to inspect it. You're just gonna wanna look at it and make sure that it still has some spring to it. Obviously ours still has some spring to it, so I'm not gonna be replacing this one. So you're gonna come in here and you're gonna put this seal back in place on your new trim piece. Put our little micro filter cover back in place. Like I said, those are little half turn clips. Push them down, turn them a half turn, they lock in place. So trim pieces in place. We're gonna put our wiper arms back on and we will be done with this job. All right, so we got our new cowl in place, got our wiper arms put back on, we're all done with this job. Like I said, just make sure that you put your wiper arms back in the right spot or mark on your windshield with some tape or whatever. Make sure you get them put back in the right spot because if you put them up too high, they'll hit the uh, trim on the side of the windshield. If you put them down too low, they'll actually come down and hit this 
uh, trim that we just put in. So just to make sure that you get them aligned properly. Um, if you guys have any questions about this repair or any repairs on E46s, please comment down below. I'll be sure to answer any questions you guys have. Uh, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you later.